First off, God is good. God is in the center of everything that we have going on, so therefore we are blessed and highly favored. But let's get into it. I remember when I first was starting out and walking in my Christ walk, there were some things I was just sitting there thinking like, man, I don't know if I could do. First of all, I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to do it because we get so I got so caught up in doing things how I wanted to do it and living how I wanted to live that when God was trying to step in, when he was always there guiding me, now that I know, I just kind of was like, uh, I understand what you're trying to do, but yeah, I'd rather do it my way and in my strength. And that wasn't getting me nowhere in life. It didn't get me nowhere in life. It wasn't until I found the Lord and I started getting in my Bible, getting in my daily devotional and focusing on seeking him with my whole heart and not just halfway in, halfway out. Focus on seeking him with all my heart and putting my main priority him. That's when stuff started changing my life. And it's still changing and I'm still developing and I'm still growing each and every day. I'm not perfect. I'm not, I'm far from it. I'm, I'm working on becoming perfect. And I don't think we ever can be perfect, to be honest. But I'm just trying to walk like Christ-like and just trying to be honor the Lord, honor the commandments, stay in my Bible, stay, stay in my daily devotional, share wherever I can share. Um, I started a little group with my family and just sharing the, 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 prayer of the day and then started sharing to more people and more people and throughout my household just praying more with them praying over my family asking the lord to protect us each and every day because at the end of the day i can't be there in every situation every circumstance is trying to protect over my family so i've learned that you could the power of prayer is amazing um, god is always there taking care of you and taking care of all your needs it might not be all your wants and all the things that you want in this world and you desire but according to God's will, it will happen. It will come to pass. And I was getting into the word and I was just seeing like when I first started your first journey, you always like focusing on somebody else who's a little further off than you and better in the scripture and better in the word and better in the walk in Christ. And then after that, I was starting to get like corrupted because they were starting to talk about what the Lord blessed them with. And they were praying for blessings and praying for stuff and cars and materialistic things. And I was like, what? Okay. Da, da. But rewind way back from that. I was doing the manifestation thing and just think manifesting and praying for all these things in a way I thought I was praying, but I was just pretty much asking and just repeating it over and over, manifest, trying to manifest these things into my life. And that was, it was kind of working. But then when I started getting into scripture, I understood that wasn't good for you. And that's almost like you, you, you putting somebody else like a God. But instead of seeking the Lord, and we, the Lord is a jealous God, and he wants you to seek him. He wants you to come to him when you have problems. He wants you to focus on him. He wants you to stay in your word because that is the manual of life. It shows us what we're supposed to do. It helps us to get on track when we fall off. And you ever notice, like, I don't know if you've been walking in Christ and how long you've been walking in Christ, but I just understand, like, sometimes there'll be some answers that I want and some questions I ask in the Lord, and I'm like, I don't see where they're being answered. And then all of a sudden, randomly, it's answered. And I'm like, what? That was, I've been asked that. Oh, wow. That it really come to pass. And just, I just want to say, we serve an amazing God. And I would love for people to follow him as well. Because it could transform your life. It will transform your life. Because I went from a person to just doing what I want. Living how I want. Listening to the type of music that was kind of making me depressed. And all that stuff. And I was like, how can that affect my life? It's not going to affect my life. I'm better than that. And it was affecting my life.